What do I want them to see? I want them to see that they, <laughs> we're, we have a system that's truly flawed. Um, and this has happened over and over and over again. And it's our hope and wish that we get this rectified immediately, uh, systems revamped, um, because this didn't happen. Ha this didn't have to happen. It was truly senseless. Um, and the video truly speaks for itself, truly speaks for itself. I lost my brother, my twin brother, um, who was doing nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong. I truly believe in accountability, um, you know, and we just want justice. We want charges pressed. You know, we want the people who are paid to serve us. Uh, you know, we, they, they, they can't be above the law. They need to be held to the same standards that we're held to. If I break the law, hold me accountable. And so we just want accountability and justice. And um, what was your brother like? My brother was so outgoing. He had more friends than anyone I knew. Um, he loved to cook and his passion was singing. He loved to sing. And he was enrolled in a music appreciation class at Tulsa Community College. We just celebrated our 40th birthday last month. And uh, we had a good talk, a really, really good talk and, uh, you know, positive moving forward with our next 40 years. And, and uh, everyone that knows him, everybody knows Terrence or Big Crutch or Fat Crutch. They, <laughs> they knew that he was a good guy, you know, and, and I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him so much. Um, I don't even know what else to say. Um, and you live in Alabama? I live in Montgomery, Alabama, so yes. When was the last time you were able to see him and talk to him? Uh, back in June, I believe. I was home. I was here back in June. It's around Father's Day, the week of Father's Day. And so that was the last time. And then, of course, we, you know, we are tight niche family. So I'm checking in pretty much daily. And, uh, of course, on our birthday, the night of, we talked. The next day, we had a, a good conversation about his plans with life and things of that nature. And I got his last text message that I'm going to keep forever. And it was like, I love you. And uh, I'm going to make you proud and vice versa. Why don't you tell about the birthday cake? Oh, yeah. Every, you know, people think that birthday cakes are for little kids. But <laughs> <laughs> ever since I could remember, we would have a birthday cake. Happy birthday, Terrence and Tiffany, every year. Even though I've been in Alabama for a long time, they would still get that birthday cake and send me a picture. And uh, we're going to continue that tradition. Our birthday was a tradition, I guess, because, oh, twins, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I just can't imagine, um, I just can't imagine not having him here. I'm just really, I just, I just feel like I'm in a nightmare. I just want to just wake up and say this will all be over tomorrow. Um, Gary, do you have any questions? I know I'm forgetting something. I think you got them all. Okay. Yeah. Um, in Reverend Joey Crutcher, he's, a, I think, a 91 inducted into the Oklahoma Jazz Hall of Fame, a, a true pillar in the community and uh, our family. We've served Tulsa for many, many years. And Terrence, he was taking classes at Tulsa Community College? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sings in the choir. Yeah, he's a singer. Um, just loves to sing. And our, our family is just musically inclined. Everybody in my family can sing or play an instrument, and it skipped over me for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs>